Hello and welcome back to the second series of Let's Play Planet Coaster Console Edition. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and we are back with a brand spanking new series where we attempt to build a theme park. Now hopefully you did catch the uh, the previous series where we built a um, a Christmas funfair, a Christmas style funfair uh, event, something like that. Yeah, a bit of a car crash but um, it was quite popular. Um, I think it had like 3,000 hits per video, which is um, pretty decent actually, because at the moment my views are horrendous. I think the channel is dying on its ass, so um, I thought I'd bring this series back to try and, you know, just get some views back on the channel because, uh, yeah, it's all turning to shit basically. Um, <laughs> lockdown is killing all the vloggers. There's nothing to vlog, and it's so hard to try and create decent content at home. It's basically just recycled footage that we are using, like POVs, top tens, stuff like that. And I'm not very comfortable posting stuff like that. I just feel it's cheap. It's, you know, no work goes into it. I'm most proud when I'm creating stuff. And Planet Coaster, I'm making videos. I'm filming it. I'm making it. Then I'm doing voiceovers. I'm editing. So the whole process just feels like, uh, you know, it feels like I'm doing something. It feels like I'm making something. And that is important to me because it keeps me busy as well because you know lockdown there's not a lot to do and you, you could drive yourself stir crazy so it keeps me active and hopefully it entertains you right let's get into it we are building a spooky theme park using the um spooky pack downloadable content that was released um a few weeks ago so basically we are making a theme park themed around scary stuff so we will be theming the rides up with jack o and stuff like that we are going to make you know attempt to build a theme park i'm definitely no theme park expert and there is much much better planet coaster videos on youtube obviously some of the other channels do them and they they make amazing stuff they they really do the stuff they can create from scratch is um way out of my league but this is what keeps my content niche, the fact that I'm crap at it. So, <laughs> so I, hopefully it will stand out for that reason, that I'm basically using blueprints and just plonking stuff everywhere and not really, you know, not really being very good at the game. Uh, my excuse is I've only had it a month or so where these other channels have had it years on PC, and it is much easier on PC using a keyboard and mouse. So hopefully that will make my content stand out just a little bit, um yeah so hopefully you'll enjoy it and we can go on this journey together and hopefully i keep saying hopefully and hopefully by the end of this series we'll have a fully functioning theme park we are going to be sticking stuff like roller coasters in we are going to try and get some traditional generic flat rides in not the kind of stuff we put on our traveling fair we are going to go for some more static uh flat rides that you would find traditionally at a, uh, at a theme park now i have been to quite a few theme parks in my time obviously i'm known for fun fairs and i prefer fun fairs but i i do i do enjoy a theme park um yeah i've been to all the major theme parks in the uk um i like to keep that on the down low though so don't tell anybody because um i don't want to ruin my street cred so just keep that under your hat for now please thank you so yeah like a you know, this, is, this isn't going to be a stunning, immersive, well-themed Disneyland type venture park. It's going to be, it's going to be crap. I'm going to level with you straight up, the, you know, straight away. I'm going to level with you. This is going to be bloody terrible, but hopefully we can have a laugh along the way. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so we are just plonking down some ready-made theming. You're not going to see me build nothing. You know, I'm just, I just can't do it. I'm going to be honest, I can't do it. I'm, you know, it, it took me about five hours to try and build a uh, a token booth for my fair. <laughs> I just give up in the end. I just can't do it. I haven't got the patience or the skill or, to be honest, or the energy. So the, the prefabricated blueprints on this game are absolutely fantastic. And we are just going to put them to good use. So I'm aiming to try and get... I mean, I, w I would would like about four coasters, four major coasters, a few flat rides, maybe like a log flume, 
we can put that in. I'm going to get a ghost train in there as well, obviously, because it is a spook park. And we're going to get some um, go-karts in there, maybe. We'll have a play around. You know, you let me know in the comments what you want to see, and I will try and put it in. Uh, in terms of layout and structure, I have no bloody idea what I'm going to do. I am going to wing this. I'm just going to wing it and see how we go. <laughs> I love the way the guests, like Kara, Kara, when they walk past something scary, they're like, they're like hide their faces in fear. It's really good touch, actually. This is what I mean about some of the blueprints. It's just a skeleton. I'm just going to plonk him down there. No real thought has gone into it. I am just grabbing a bit of femen and sticking it on the grass somewhere. But, uh, like, with, with the fair, you saw by the by the last episode, episode 5, I think it was, you saw how it really come alive. You know, we start from a blank canvas, and you can you can create something pretty decent. Um, even someone that lacks the knowledge like me and lacks the actual skill of the game, you can come up with something half decent. And I think my fair that I built was um, was pretty good. And it's the, it's the commentary that makes it. I mean... You do, I'm just giving you something to look at on the screen, but you really hear from my um, sexy voice, aren't you? From my beautiful, beautiful commentary. Because that's what makes these videos, is me. Uh, I think. I hope it is, otherwise you, you, you'd have buggered off by now. Because the content on the screen is utter crap. Um, <laughs> right, we are now sticking in a Street Fox coffee. Other brands are available, but I'm telling you now... Street Fox is the absolute daddy. You can get stuff like uh, mochaccino, a frappuccino, a latte, an espresso. You can get a flat white. Honestly, we do all your your basic coffee styles. We even do steamed milk. So, yeah, street coffee. Um, this isn't sponsored by street coffee, by the way. This isn't a paid video. I'm just really, really bigging them up. This is the thing I love. Like, the little... Little touches like the um, jack-o'-lanterns, they give give you a little bit of light and they look really good. So we are going to place a few of these down just to just to light up this kind of walkway we got going on, like the entrance to the park. We need a bit of light down here, so I'm going to stick some of these jack-o'-lanterns down. Looks like the old Jack Skeleton one. That's brilliant. They do give off quite a bit of light, as you can see there. They're not too bright. But they just they just light the path nicely so the guests can see where they're going. And they add that little bit of uh theming. Theming. I'm gonna sound like a proper theme park fanny by the end of this series, aren't I? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hope Simon's not watching. So yeah, we are going to aim for a few coasters, a few flats. We'll get some like, um, put a restaurant in there maybe, stuff like that. Should we, even a hotel. No, maybe not a hotel. We're not going to go crazy. We're not going to go absolutely insane with this. We are just going to just showcase a few rides. Right, now on to the street lights. Need a few of these as well. The jack o lantern just didn't quite do it for the light. You need a, a few street lights as well. Because we want happy guests, you know, we want to, we want them to leave with a smile on their face, and they need to be able to see where they're going. In terms of different areas, I'm not sure yet. I mean, I don't know how much of this spooky theming I can get away with. Obviously, I don't want to overdo it. So maybe we could do like a little area that's like dedicated to Halloween, a spooky area, and maybe we can move on to like a western area. Um, what else have we got? Like a fairy tale, fairy tale area. Just trying to think what kind of scenarios we got going on in the game. We got theme, we got um, western, we got sci-fi. I think there's a few, so we'll look into that because I don't want to. I don't want the spooky theme to outstay its welcome. But this is pretty cool. We are just putting in a makeshift graveyard here on the grass. Just a few of these tombstones. You know, you know, that already looks ten times better. So, you know, you, you can get a little bit creative. Nothing too crazy. Just a few tombstones, and that looks a marked improvement already. And that is basically our little entrance area done there. 
then we've got a coffee stall and we've got a few spooky bits of theming going on like that coffin and the skeleton coming out that's awesome so we've got a few guests go away let's turn you away i'm afraid we've got no rides yet nothing to see here nothing to see here look at this this is cool the skeleton look that's the pre-fabricated blueprint we got our spider tree and we got our bats don't eat them that's not going to end well don't eat bats just throwing it out there next up we're going to have some food obviously grab a coffee on the way in make a sharp left and you can grab yourself a nice bit of pizza and some chief beef, whatever tickles your fancy. Chief beef or pizza. You know, we're easy. We serve, we serve everything here. Apart from McDonald's, we don't serve that. But I love the way these, um, these outlets are themed up. As you can see here, the, um, ow, just knocked something over. The chief beef has all these pumpkins on it and I think it looks really cool. And the pizza has a giant pizza slice on it. The pizza pen. And has some like candles and like that um a crow nibbling the pizza on top. Animatronic crow. We are just placing a few bits of lighting around as well. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I decided to get rid of that. That looks absolutely terrible. I don't know what I'm thinking. Just placing all these um, street lamps in a row. It looks awful. So I do get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, it's all tri trial and error, isn't it? Trial and error with this game. So we are going to place a couple of benches down just so they can sit and eat their um, pizza slice. Now, let me know in the comments what you think of this new microphone. Obviously, I was using the Blue Snowball, which is a very, very popular microphone, especially on YouTube and streamers. It's like one of the most popular. Um, but I had real issues with it. It worked fine up until, like, episode, when I tried to record another episode. Um, the audio is all static and, like, really bad fuzzy noise in the background. And I tried to fix it. I, like, literally spent hours searching online for a for a fix and couldn't find anything and in the end I've just just literally had to buy a whole new microphone because I wanted to continue the series. My MacBook actually has an inbuilt microphone but it sounds dog shit so I, I'm not using it. So the new one I've, I'm using is actually it's called like the, the brand name is Toner. Uh, it is £40 on Amazon and it's actually really nice. It comes with a built-in pop filter as well so you haven't got to buy that separately. Honestly, sometimes you are better off just going for like the unknown brands. Like the brand names, expensive brand names, aren't always the best. And I'm really disappointed with the um, with the blue snowball microphone. As you can see, we have some picnic benches with little jack o' lanterns on, just so they have somewhere to sit. I'm pretty impressed. I think it's starting to take shape. It looks good. I like our little entrance gate there with the little with the jack o' lanterns hanging. Yeah, no guests yet. We've got nothing nothing yet. We've got nothing. I think it is time to get a ride in, in a minute. We're just gonna place a few of these spooky looking bins around the park because um we want our guests to be tidy. We're not savages. We don't litter in my park. That's another thing. Anyone watching, can you name my park? I'm going to take suggestions of a park. I mean, I was just going to go for, like, Spook Park, but it sounds crap. So if you if you can think of any good names that we can call our park, let me know in the comments. Here we go, our first ride. And look at the size of this beast. This is the ghost train. Um, I could never build anything as good. That's why I don't mind using blueprints, because look at this. I could never build anything that would compare to this. Never. So I'm not going to try. I'm just going to cheat and use this. And with the magic of editing, it's in and the paths are built. Look at that. Just like that. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much I struggled with these paths. 
<laughs> we'll leave that out of it. We'll leave that out. Like I said, the magic of editing. There we go. Boom. There's my ghost train. Um, <laughs> that's the best fit for you guys. You don't have to watch me struggle. Um, you're just seeing the best bits. We've got this wonderful looking like scarecrow. I don't know what it is in the entrance way. Or the exit way, or the exit path, should I say? We've got these animatronic maggots. This is the hard thing now. Like, there's so much space to fill, and like, well, you've got to try and like theme it up without overdoing it or underdoing it. So I found this quite a bit of a struggle because there's there's not that much theme, and they have got this wonderful like old cottage that is just it's just there for scenery, really. But I think that looks really good. You can see there, we swing it around. Just his old like old bungalow kind of thing, like something you'd find in wrong turn. You see it in the middle of the woods. With like carny folk living in there. But I think that looks really good It's just like a set piece. It gives this whole horror vibe, doesn't it? I think it looks good. Um, we've got this spooky looking tree. Just plonk that down there. And already, hey presto, it's looking all right. You know, it's looking all right. I'm impressed. And what's this we're gonna lay down here? Oh, the, oh, the animatronic spider. Yeah. I hate spiders. This, this would scare me. I would not go near this. So there is some, like, some really good animatronics. And you'll see later on when we do our pirate ship, there's these hanging skeletons that like move. They look really good. We are going to reuse these gravestones because I think they look great. Then we're just going to put that nicely in there. And we'll probably stick some like jack-o'-lanterns around and stuff like that. And obviously uh, some street lamps to light it up. But we'll take you on board the ghost train in a minute. We'll show you a POV of that. We just got to finish lighting up these paths and we've got the ride open we have guests we have guests in the park we are officially open we are just sticking some of these jack-o'-lanterns around now for some added theme and some added um light some vibrancy stuff like that. bloody hell look how busy it's getting i'm not surprised it's the only bloody ride in the park it's absolutely chock-a-block luckily i built that um extended queue line so let me know in the comments have you been playing planet coaster what do you think of planet coaster um have you get on with the console edition um i've heard good and bad stuff um the controls when you get used to them are okay i find it a little bit fiddly um but but other than like making the the first series the fun fair I, I haven't played a great deal of the game i really haven't i haven't sunk too much time into it the only the only playing time i've had is when i've been recording for youtube so that's why i'm still crap because I, I just haven't put the effort in it's really bad of me isn't it i just haven't i've been playing ghost of tashima actually instead <laughs> but um these youtube videos gives me a perfect excuse to get back on the game these are cool look at these these um skeletons laying on the floor. This, I mean, this is what I look like with my bad sciatica over Christmas. This is how I was in bed laying like that. Just in absolute agony. You've got stuff like this as well. You can just plonk down just to give it some added um, oomph. You know. Here we go then. All aboard the ghost train. Um, it's better at night, but we are going to get a daytime POV so you can see a little bit better. Here you go. You've got your grandma's wallpaper in here. You've got a chandelier. That has a um, as a near miss element. Got an open fireplace. Got a chair rocking, really good. Got a bit of a drop, sharp turn. Another drop, another sharp turn. Round the corner, 90 miles an hour. This um, <laughs> looks like it spins as well, like demonium trains that actually spin. Um, you've got this skeleton. This is the hanging skeletons I was talking about. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> And you've got a little outdoor section, look. It's like a wild mouse roller coaster, this ghost train. Bloody hell. Don't stop spinning, this would make me ill. You've got another indoor bit here. You've got some smoke, some steam. You've got um, 
or green fireplace some jack-o'-lanterns the curtains are blowing it's got some rats back into the station so that's our generic ghost train honestly better than anything i could build so why not just use the um the one in the game and here we are straight onto our second ride again through the power of editing it's already there with a queue line boom uh this pirate ship it just fits fits the um fits the theme i think especially if we chuck a few bits of like halloween theme on it it looks really it looks like it really would fit the area it looks quite scary doesn't it um yeah good old pirate ship obviously we didn't use this in the last video because you generally don't get these traveling you do get traveling pirate ships but not like this one you can tell with the um what are they called the legs that it's a uh, theme park model <laughs> the legs <laughs> so there we go We've got our hus pirate ship i don't know if it's a hus i'm calling it a hus we've got the um we've got the the uh, tires there tire driven ship it's a lovely shot there So we are going to use all new rides in this episode. Get a few coasters down. But that's a lovely geek shot. Look at that with the tyres. So that is our pirate ship. Again, look at the queue. We are getting a big queue. Two rides in now. We're two rides deep. We are going to get um, a cheeky op, op cabin view. There we go, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help the channel. And we are closing in on 15,000 subscribers, which would absolutely, absolutely mean the world to me. It really, really would. Especially after the year we've had with COVID and stuff. To, to hit that milestone would be incredible. Right. Anyone who's ever vlogged, you know how awkward this is. When you're vlogging on the pirate ship, POV, and you're literally pointing the camera straight at all those other people. It is the most awkward thing ever. I tend to offset the camera to the side, so it's like facing outwards. I can't, I can't just point the camera at um, random people. It's really, it's, it's a really odd feeling. And remember, if you are going to be sick, be sick on the upstroke, so it lands all over the people in front of you and doesn't come back and land in your own face. <laughs> yeah um pov on the pirate ship if you've done it you'll know it's the most awkward thing ever so here we are we have people coming and going i love the um the jump scares here look and as you can see with the power of editing we have um put a few more bits of theme in and here is our ghost train again now it's much better at night get you some cinematic shots of the ghost train here Going up the lift hill, around the bend, around the side winder. I don't know what these elements are, I'm just making it up. <laughs> <laughs> and back into the station. Look at this thing I put in. Look, it just comes back and forth. Whee! Scaring them. And there's our skeletons. And we've added a mascot, um, this ghost thing. <laughs> now we are just going to theme up this pirate ship by placing a few jack-o'-lanterns around. And honestly, the, these jack-o'-lanterns transform it. When I, You'll see when I've placed them down, it, it instantly looks ten times better. we just got to place them around the ride, like on this brick wall. Just three or four around and... Just makes it look scary. Makes it look really good. Like one there. Got one on that barrel. We'll put one on this wall as well. And of course, with the with the um, flaming torches there, that gives it that Halloween vibe as well. This is what I love. We hang these skeletons up on the um, on the poles. Um, I don't know the official term for the um, for the legs. <laughs> but yeah, we just hang these up. And they're like they wriggle around and i think they look really really good just great little bits of theming like that and you can kind of turn any ride into like a halloween themed ride of course you can change the color scheme the music so that's what we're gonna do boys and girls 
just pinned one up there on the side of um, our coffee shop. But instantly you can see like with two rides in, it, it looks so much better already. Now, I'm no theme park expert, but that is bloody good. I'm gonna give myself a big pat on the back. I think that looks great. Uh, <laughs> a hat stall now, we wanna sell some spooky hats. So we have installed um, this shop where you can purchase your hats. So uh, do that, mention my name, you get 50% off. We're gonna put some benches up here. And, uh, and it, I don't know if you've noticed, but the path work is, I think I've improved the path work. They're much more straight edged. They're not all screwy, it's like just sidewinding paths, random paths. I think they're all straight and I think the path work is a lot better than my previous series because it was a fun film. We were very, very loose with the paths. We didn't try too hard to make it look pretty. You know, we just stuck a few rides in and stuck a path in and that was it. With this, I do want to try and make, make it a little neater because it is a theme park, it's not a fair and we have to make that extra effort. Hot dog! Got to have a hot dog. Um, a dry, dry hot dog, of course. So we put this jack-o'-lantern scarecrow outside the ride, a few jack-o'-lanterns, and that, that looks like it belongs. That looks like it's really horror themed, and that looks great. That's also my thumbnail picture. I really, I really like that. And that pirate ship looks bloody good. Playing this game makes me really miss the fares. Does that sound weird? <laughs> like virtually being on these rides, it just makes me miss the rides even more. That's a good shot with our pumpkin and pirate ship going. So yeah, that, that's two rides. That's two rides in. That's 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 all we're gonna do for this episode. Um, I've dragged it out for half an hour, which is um, what I wanted to do. These are gonna be in half an hour episodes. We'll probably do four five six episodes something like that we won't drag it out too long it's not going to be the biggest theme park in the world like i said it's not going to be uh europa park so hopefully you've enjoyed this and please like comment subscribe and come back next saturday for episode two where we'll be adding a few more rides thanks guys see you later